Hello dear students welcome back for yet another new e session the topic for the day is framing questions most of the times we find answering a question difficult but framing a question is equally difficult if at all we fail to understand the rules and regulations so in order to make it easy i brought forth this particular content so that framing questions becomes easy this specially helps us in uh, framing questions while we are applying this particular content knowledge of this content in dialogue writing so please go through this particular content and enhance your framing question skills let us begin in order to frame questions we need to understand different forms of question there are three major types first one is yes or no questions in yes or no questions whenever a question is asked the answer is or must be yes either yes or no there can be an additional answer to the question but it always happens so that it follows after either yes or no so such questions are called as yes or no questions second one wh family questions and the third one question tags so let us begin with yes or no questions we need to understand that these questions begin with auxiliary words i have made a chart here so the type is yes or no question the question begins with a particular word and that word is nothing but auxiliary verb and after the auxiliary verb the word that is used with and the examples so before we start with the sentences and the usage and the words i'd like to tell you that there are two kinds of sentences positive sentence and negative sentence so here we will discuss with positive sentence positive interrogative sentences first so these kind of sentences begin with am and am is used with i so the example here is am i in the core group am i in the core group answer will be either yes or no am i in the core group yes am i in the core group no so i hope you have understood the type of question that we are dealing with next word is 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 used with singular and it has to be in present tense is goes with he she it or any form of nouns is it going to rain either yes or no is an answer the next word is are are goes with plural and in present form the words that are used with are are as follows we 
you they now and the other nouns so the sentence is are you leaving tonight are we heading to market are they approaching us etc the next word is was singular and past is what was goes with and used with he she it and nouns so was can be used with these words example here was he late to school was he late to school is a question yes or no is an answer the next word is were it goes with plural and it's a past term it can be used with plural words plural words like we you they and the nouns plural nouns were they playing is an example here the next word is have and the words that go with here are i we you they nouns have i met you before is a word has the words are he she it their and the other nouns example here is a noun that we have taken has the window pane broken so has he been to the us before these kind of questions had is the next word it goes with both singular as well as plural past form the words are i v u he she it they and nouns let us take noun here had no been been to goa had he been to goa had she been to goa these can be the words that we can use had i given you the pen may oblique might the conditional form of may is might so may i may we might i might we may i come in might have heard a lot of times may i come in is the example for this the next one is can oblique could the words that go with this model is i and there are multiple words here they are i v u he she it they and any of the nouns names can you repeat the question no, names or nouns can be can nisha play badminton either yes or no is an answer here shall oblique should the words that go with shall are i and v the words that go with should are i v he she it they should we stay here is an example the next model here is will oblique would you he she it they this that those nouns etc come under will or would will you come tomorrow will this be given to him will that be considered etc the next word is do do should be used with first person and rest of them should be plural in present form first person i and the rest of the words should be plural form we you they nouns do the children play daily do they play daily 
if you if at all you are opting for nouns then children can be used here if you want to use a pronoun do they play daily next one does it is used with singular and in the present form he she it and nouns does shreya paint well does she paint well etc and finally did did can be used with both singular as well as plural in the past form of tense the words that go with uh, with did are i v u he she it they and rest of the nouns the example here is did he go to the market did we commit an error etc so these are positive sentences and these come under the umbrella of yes or no questions so i hope you have understood this let us move further with yes or no negative sentences how do they how how these kind of negative sentences to be formed please note one thing that the answer for these kind of questions don't just appear as yes or no but they appear in the form of yes comma or no comma and a complete answer for example the first word here is aren't and it goes with i please note that am if it is taken into negative form becomes aren't not am i am i ain't so that that doesn't go well so aren't is the word it goes with i and the example here is aren't i in the core group so for these kind of questions answer usually will be either yes or no in the beginning followed by a comma and then a complete answer for example here aren't i in the core group yes you are in the core group so this is the way to answer or answer can be aren't i in the core group no you are not in the core group this is how answers takes place uh one thing to be kept in mind that these are also considered as yes or no questions but just not yes or no as an answer but the complete answer let's continue isn't the negative form of is is isn't the negative form of am is aren't isn't goes with he she it nouns isn't it going to rain aren't the negative form of are is also aren't here am aren't are aren't so aren't goes with both the words the words that are used here are we you they and nouns aren't you leaving tonight aren't the children leaving tonight etc next one is wasn't wasn't goes with he she it and nouns wasn't he late to school wasn't abhishek late to school like that we can question weren't it's not weren't it's weren't the words that go with weren't are we you they and nouns weren't they playing is an example here haven't i v u they and nouns or names can go with haven't please make note that these are more of a conformational questions you all you partially know the answer just to get confirmed with the the person as an answer you ask these questions haven't i met you before 
haven't i met you before partial answer is known here so that is the reason yes i have met you before is the way to answer hasn't is the next word he she it and nouns go with it hasn't the window pane broken the next one is hadn't i we you he she it they and nouns go with it hadn't navin been to goa meant mightn't so the words that go with here uh, with these words are i oblique v so please make note dear students meant uh, more often than not is used in oral communication it is more of an archaic word it's almost in extinct so please note that it still exists but see to it that it is not used frequently but it does exist the next word is can't oblique couldn't the words are i we you he she it they or any name or a noun can you repeat the question so negative form can be can't you repeat the question shall negative form of shall becomes shan't should becomes shouldn't so shan't and shouldn't as main shan also is an archaic word so shan goes with i oblique v and shouldn't goes with i v u he she they and nouns shouldn't we stay shan't i get that etc won't oblique wouldn't won't oblique wouldn't are the words the negative form of words of will and would these go with you he she it they oblique nouns please note that it doesn't go won't or wouldn't don't go won't and wouldn't don't go with the first person that is i and we the example here won't you come tomorrow the next word is don't don't go goes with i v u they nouns don't the children play daily is a noun form that i have used here the children so don't the children play daily please make note that don't goes with the plural form of the word that is children here doesn't goes with he she it and nouns doesn't shreya paint well the next one is didn't didn't is the negative form of uh, did the words that go with didn't are i v u he she it they and nouns didn't he go to the market didn't nishil go to the market etc in both the auxiliary sets here both negative as well as positive there are few models that are to be considered models are may might may becomes might in conditional can could shall should will would and in negative forms mayn't mightn't can't couldn't shan't shouldn't won't wouldn't so these are models here in the the set of auxiliaries that we have considered so i hope you have understood how to ask yes or no questions 
please note that with examples is what it is possible to learn these framing of questions remaining two types of question forms will be discussed in the next class so let us take the assignment for the day here assignment is very simple frame yes or no questions using the following words first one positive words are here so use these words and frame yes or no questions your sentences that is your interrogative sentences should be different from the words that uh, the, the sentences that are there in the table that i have used so please make note of these words and frame the questions and submit the assignment these are positive words and these are negative words so using all these words please frame sentences there are 17 positive words and there are 17 negative words in a day or if you can take one or two days and submit the assignment until then thank you so much dear students for your patient listening the as i said before remaining two question forms will be discussed in the next class thank you have a good day stay safe